The Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Rowley, gives a picture of the state of Patatrin after a 90-day strike was averted on Monday. In his 26-minute address to the nation last evening, Dr. Rowley said mismanagement of the company, huge debt, cash flows problems, decreased production and falling oil prices is making it increasingly difficult for the company to operate. He said the company owes the Treasury royalties and the taxes. The money owed by the state to Petrochin at this time for the fuel subsidy against the royalties and taxes belonging to the state but withheld by Petrochin, the company currently owes the Treasury $1.2 billion in unpaid taxes. With a downgrade from BA1 to BA3 downgrade from Moody's, despite an affirmation from Standard & Poor's of a BB rating, Petrotrain could still suffer a two-notch downgrade if the company's liquidity is weakened or if government support had fallen from very high to high. But the Prime Minister said this has far-reaching effects for the nation. This is not solely a Petrotrain problem. It is also a situation which is ever-present in all discussions of the national borrowings and debt servicing. And the downgrade could easily stretch beyond Petrotrain onto the operations of the Ministry of Finance. Petrotrain has a debt of $13 billion. Looking ahead, government has given the oil company a number of directives. It is estimated that this interim increase of 5% will immediately increase Petrotrain's wage bill by $81 million per year. And the back pay liability arising from the interim offer would be in excess of $300 million. In order not to unduly burden the National Treasury, the company has been directed by the government that it must take firm and immediate steps to reduce its annual operational expenditure in order to meet the increased wage costs of $81 million per year. This assignment will be carefully monitored by the corporation's soul to see that the company achieves its cost-cutting targets.